instead pray about everything Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done Don't worry, instead pray here I just want you to know how much I love you and I miss you and I just can't wait until we're back in the classroom together again today we're gonna be learning about a man in the Bible who had something to do with some lions some of you might already know this story is it no it's not Noah who do you think it is Jonah no, that was the story with the big fish. It wasn't. It was Daniel. That's right. Daniel and the lion's den. We're going to read this awesome story about his bravery and his uh, faithfulness and prayer to God. So if you want to get ready, get your blankets ready, your pillows and your fort set up. Parents, you can pause the video so they can have time to do this. All right. Is everybody ready? Okay, hope you're paying attention. Sorry, it's getting me. I'm getting there. Okay, long ago, there was a good man named Daniel. He helped the king rule the land. The king loved Daniel very much. Some of the king's other helpers were jealous of Daniel, so they had a plan to get him in trouble. Daniel loved God very much. He prayed to him three times a day. The king's other helpers did not like that and made up a new law. People can only pray to the king or else. Daniel heard about the law. He went home to pray. He wanted to talk to God about the new law. The men were watching to see what Daniel would do. Would Daniel break this new law? I don't know. Let's find out. Daniel prayed, Dear God, I love you. I do not like to disobey rules, but I will never stop praying to you. The men watched Daniel pray. They were very happy to see Daniel praying to his God. He was breaking the new law. Daniel, you are not following the new law. Do not pray to anyone but the king, said the men. I will never stop praying to God, said Daniel. So the men took Daniel to the king. They said, King, remember your new law? We saw Daniel praying to his God. He broke the law. The king was very sad. He thought about how to rescue his friend Daniel, but he did not have a plan. You must follow the rules, the men told the king. And so the king took Daniel to the lion's den. The sad king said goodbye to his friend Daniel. Daniel said goodbye to the king. The men were happy. They had finally gotten the good man, Daniel, in trouble. Daniel was going to be thrown into the lion's den. Daniel was thrown into the lion's den. The men smiled as they watched him fall down, down, down into the den. Daniel thought to himself, I'm in trouble. Daniel looked at the hungry lions. The hungry lions looked at Daniel. He knew what to do. Daniel knew he needed to pray to God for help, just like he did every day. Daniel knelt on the ground. He started praying to God for protection. 
God heard Daniel's prayers loud and clear. An angel appeared and shut the lion's mouth. All night long, Daniel prayed to God. All night long, God's angel kept the lions away from Daniel. Daniel talked to God and thanked him for the angel and his help. In the morning, the king ran to the lion's den. Daniel, he shouted, how are you, my friend? Daniel smiled at the king. I am safe. God sent an angel. He kept the lions away all night long. The king smiled too. Get Daniel out of that lion's den. The king was happy that God had kept Daniel safe. He told all of his people about Daniel's God. The king said, God is a great God. The king had the other helpers arrested. That night, Daniel prayed. Thank you, God. You are great. Man, wasn't that such a great story? The story of Daniel in the lion's den just reminds us about how brave he was. And it reminds us about how much God cares for, um, he cares for everything that we go through in our everyday lives. And he wants to hear about it. He cares enough to listen. So just like Daniel prayed three times a day, we can talk to our Heavenly Father too. He wants to hear about the big and he wants to hear about the small. He listens whenever we're thankful to him about everything that we're, everything that we have and everything that he's done in our lives. And he listens whenever we want to pray about a mean bully at school or we want to pray about maybe our family or when we want to pray about being nervous about taking a test online or whatever it may be. God listens. And I want you to know that he's there for you guys. And um, all God asks for is for us to put our whole trust in him and love him with all of our hearts. So for a part of this story today, we're going to go over the memory verses that we have for you guys. We're going to be having our memory verse coming out of the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verse 6. For level 1, it's going to be, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about it. And for our level 2s, it's going to be just like our song that we do in Kingdom Rock. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. What's that again? Philippians 4, 6. Good job, guys. Now remember, God wants to talk with us every single day because he is our Heavenly Father. And he wants to hear what we're going through and he wants to hear about the needs we have before, that we want to lay before him. And you know what? Just like Daniel's story, he will strengthen you and he will move on your behalf. I love you guys so much. I hope that you learned from this story. And parents, um, if you want to go through this and study with your kids just to have some quality time, it's uh, the book of Daniel chapter 6. All right, guys, let's go ahead and hold hands and pray together. Heavenly Father, we come before you and we just thank you for your caringness and for your watchfulness over us. We pray that you would be with us even through this time, God, and that you would hear our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen.